All right, let's talk about the video signal generator, especially the, the main idea, which is the position of our bouncing ball. So the really the, the fundamental concept here is that we need a value to be effectively going back and forth between our pixel columns. We have a total of 640 of those. So you think of it as the position is advancing until it hits the upper limit and then it should give the impression that it reflected or starts decreasing towards the lower limit. When it hits the lower limit, it should go back up and just keeps going back and forth. So it's essentially an up-down counter, but we need to have a little bit of extra stuff going on to make it automatically determine when to shift from up counting to down counting. Now in terms of formulating our register transfer statements, certainly we need to say position gets position because it's not moving every clock cycle. Sometimes it moves to the right with an increment, and sometimes it moves to the left with a decrement. I think that pretty much takes care of all the possible ways that po position needs to change. So let's formulating, start formulating the conditions on these statements. All right, the up-down should only occur when the register is enabled because again many times it should simply get its present value so when it's not enabled it just remains part when it is enabled we either go up or down then the question is how do we know whether it should we go increasing or decreasing well we see that as long as it's in the process of increasing it should get higher as long as it's in the process of getting lower it should uh, decrease. So we actually need an additional register to keep track of whether or not we're in the process of going up or going down. And uh, when going up hits one of these limits, it should get changed to its opposite value. So the tilde indicates not. Just to be clear, going up actually is a one-bit register or a Boolean data type. Now the condition at the edges here, when we should be reversing direction, is a little bit on the long side. So I'm gonna use this circle C symbol to indicate the entire condition that is associated with that line, just because I'm a, a bit cramped on space here. So we'll detect that when the position is identically equal to the upper limit or max position, that's associated with flipping the direction. But we would also need to say that and at the same time, we see that going up is in fact active. All right, I can write that just a little bit more concisely this way. Now the other case that causes us to flip the direction is if we are in the process of hitting the lower limit, that is position is identically equal to min position, and we were going down, We're looking at this edge here and we're going down, which is the opposite of going up, then really either of these two conditions is sufficient to switch the direction. And we can simply notate that uh, O slash W or otherwise, we simply say keep the same value. All right, the VI called ball position implements these behaviors here. Here we see the position register. We've got these three possible values that get fed into position. That's the one associated with holding. I'm using the word the indicate or the control called move now as the enable by the way. And there we see the increment and decrement. All of this fairly elaborate structure looks like this in LabVIEW. And one thing I haven't mentioned yet, I should point out here, that's the, the minus one and the plus one. These are necessary for the limits to work out. What we find is that it will increment, or the position will increment or decrement by one while it's in the process of changing direction. So if I subtract those two first, or add, then things work out properly. 
Now another associated VI is called move the ball. And this actually generates the enable that's used for what I was calling move now over there. This part is just a simple frequency divider and the rate selector operates this case structure to pick the value of count necessary to achieve a specific delay. So a, a count of 50 million, for example, achieves a one second delay at 50 megahertz.